Now, data is a core component of regulatory compliance, and poor data quality introduces risk throughout the trade and regulatory reporting life cycle. Whether it's to mitigate the risk of being non-compliant or to ensure a firm remains competitive in the market, dedicating the right attention to assess and protect the health of your data, well, that's critical. Well, current regulations mandate that firms implement a proper control framework. Although this requires firms to invest time and resources, the positive effects of a proper control framework go far beyond regulatory compliance. Well, for more on this subject, we're joined by Linda Kaufman. Lim Linda is the Executive Vice President of SmartStream Technologies. Linda, it's a pleasure to see you and welcome to Cybos TV. Put this in Thank you. Thank you. Put this in context. How important a role does data quality play in the way that a firm approaches risk management? Well, it, it really needs to be front and center when defining a risk management strategy. Uh, as the world's become more and more automated, it means that uh, we are more and more dependent on data, as your previous guests have have. Uh, also spoken about and um, the important decisions are being made based on data and so if you can imagine the untime you know ultimately bad data quality will result in bad decisions which can be costly in in many ways uh, in the past i think that that correlation may not have been as evident as it is today with the em emphasis on uh, electronic trading and machine learning really just you know, in time where automation is driving innovation, bringing data quality to the forefront. How can uh, how can poor data quality affect regulatory compliance, Linda? <laughs> uh, so current day regulations require a good deal of data to be reported. I think, you know, um, in the data world, that's been spoken about so much as of late over the last couple of years. Uh, so more data is being collected and understood by the regulators than, than ever before. Uh, on the surface, poor data quality obviously, you know, uh, impacts the data that you're actually reporting to the regulator. Nobody wants a costly fine or a reputational hit. But it's not just the data I, that's being reported. We've seen um, what a huge impact poor data quality can have on determining what needs to be reported. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's, you know, you're being judged on what's being reported in your actual report, but you're also having to embed data into your decision making on should I report or shouldn't I report based on the rules of the regulation. Um, and so that leads oftentimes to under and over reporting, which is not viewed by the regulator very kindly. Uh, so firms really need to make sure that they're not just validating the data going into the reports, but also using um, uh, you know, validating the, the obligation to report to, to different s sets of data sometimes. Yeah, but Linda, given that, what data oversight is actually expected by the regulators themselves as part of a good control framework so that you can ensure that the reporting is accurate? Yeah, good question. So there's really four, I would say, key components of a good control framework. Uh, system checks, control processes, uh, risk assessment and product governance, which is a big one. But really at the end of the day, the regulator wants to see that firms are being accountable for the data flowing through all of their systems, whether that data is originated within the firm itself or sourced from a third party. Uh, firms don't get a pass just because they source data from a third party. They're still, they're still responsible for the quality of that data. Uh, and so the regulators wanna see firms addressing systemic issues in a timely fashion. It's not really about getting one or two trades wrong, reporting trades wrong. Um, it's about finding the underlying cause and demonstrating the ability to fix the underlying problem in a timely, in a timely fashion. And I, I would say it's also about putting the right human expertise in charge of defining those controls needed to ensure accurate data. If, you, if you're not understanding the regulation or understanding the complexity of some you know, data systems can be quite com complex within the institution, uh, then you're gonna really have a hard time putting in the right controls that are viewed kindly by the regulator. Well, Linda, it's been wonderful to hear from you. Uh, sadly, time is against us today. We'd love to chat to you further, but thank you so much for giving us your time here on Cybos TV. That's Linda Kaufman, Executive Vice President at SmartStream Technologies.